Hey guys, welcome to the best freaking Twin Flame channel ever! Woo! All right, it's messages from Divine Masculine. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy, happy, joy, joy. We're gonna get the lowdown on the DM. What's up with that guy or gal? Hey, my Twin Flame just texted me. <clears throat> And she goes, hey, are you doing some kind of voodoo on me? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I'm not doing anything, actually. So I don't know what she's talking about. We'll see what she says when she responds. Maybe she's got a headache or something, not feeling sick. Why would I do that to you? Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. Come on. I would not do that. As a matter of fact, I don't do anything about my twin flame whatsoever. <laughs> and that's why she talks to me. Really? Kurt? Oh, that's very interesting. So you don't do anything about your twin flame? You don't, like, send her healing energy or try to clear your guys' karma or repair your childhood wounds or get your Akashic records right nope nope none of that bullshit nope I'm not doing any of that stuff that is correct I don't do any of that stuff at all all of my focus is completely on the present moment I don't chase her I don't think about her I don't feel anything towards her and that is exactly why she is in my life to stay thank you very much now, I could choose to be with somebody else if I wanted to, and someday maybe I'll do that, right? I've been thinking about it. Um, but I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself, actually. It's getting to the point where it's like entertainment, because every time I have, you know, like some big spiritual breakthrough or something, she's like banging on my door, calling on the phone. It's hilarious. Like, she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> they do. You guys, it's like that. They, they just kind of drift into your life when you start doing this properly. You don't have to do anything and they don't have any idea that something is going on. I've tried explaining it to her. I've, I've tried breaking it down. They're like I listed, here's all the experiences I've had. Here's what you did. When I had said experiences, nope, nope, nope. She just thinks it isn't a thing. She thinks the whole Twin flame thing is craziness. You know, I've tried explaining. I told her, I said, look, it's, you're not gonna know that anything is going on, actually. I told her, like, the fact that you are in denial about that there is something between us is actually exactly the way that it's supposed to be. It's by design, right? You are the negative polarity. I told her that. You're the negative polarity. You're so called divine masculine, right? And you guys, you just, you just respond. I do some energy work, right? I, I do some detaching. I go deeper into my soul and you respond to it. I know that a spiritual experience is taking place within my body. I can feel it. You know, I feel a sense of nirvana or something. I have one of those types of experiences and you show up. You, you want to talk to me. Like every time you chase me, right? I told her that, but you wouldn't know that. You're not me. You're not having, well, you are me on a different level, right? But it's like that. It's by design. They're not gonna reciprocate. They're not gonna go, oh, I get it. I see now that we're twin flames. I get it. You know, at least it hasn't worked that way for me this whole time. And I don't have any students that it worked like that for, you know, maybe, but I don't think so. But that's by design, guys. The soul is not gonna prove itself to you. You do not get external validation from the soul. Listen, the soul is not gonna prove itself to you. You do not get external validation from the soul, okay? Now, with your twin flame, you sorta do you sort of get external validation. You have some like deeper spiritual experience because you stop looking to the external. You let go of the physical person. 
and you go within and you have those deeper spiritual experiences, right? That's when they show up. That's when they start chasing you. And it's usually like within 24 hours, I'll have some big spiritual breakthrough or something, you know, and we hang out all the time anyway. But whenever I have one of those breakthroughs, she's especially like after me. Like the last time I had one of those, she was like practically moving into my house. You know, <laughs> it's like that. They just chase you. And it's like right away, as soon as you have one of those big, you know, like they call it Satori. Go look that up. Satori, S-A-T-O-R-I. That always happens. She like blows up my phone. So it's like that. We're always hanging out. You know, it's all good. It's all good with me and my twin flame. And I don't have to do anything about it. It's all internal. I, 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 I don't focus on doing. I'm not trying to accomplish anything. I'm focused on being. It's being. It's not doing. It's soul stuff not mind stuff. It's completely different than what you think, right? It's a completely different way of life altogether. And you really got to commit yourself. You got to make a lifestyle out of it. It works and you feel amazing too, by the way. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. It's the next highest level. All right, guys, here we go. What's up, Divine Masculine? What's up there, buddy guy? Are you gonna be my guy, buddy? Or are you gonna be my buddy guy? Which is it at the bottom of the deck? We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So Divine Masculine, doing what they do best, juggle, juggle, and struggle. They juggle and they struggle. They juggle and they struggle, so. Divine Masculine is handing to Divine Feminine life on a silver platter. They're handing you some very powerful teachings. I see it in the cards. It's so clear. Some very, very powerful experiences. Very powerful indeed. Now, Going back into these old patterns, Divine Masculine, it appears, is kind of where we're going this week, but that's gonna come at a cost, Divine Masculine. It's gonna come at a cost. You can't have your fucking cake and eat it too. You can't have everything you want both ways, dude. That's why the Two of Pentacles comes out in the reverse like that. But Divine Masculine, they think they're gonna have the world on a silver platter. Well, you're not, dude. And you're not exempt from the laws of nature. Now, they've been highly focused on you. That's why the Queen of Wands comes out right here, recent past for Divine Masculine. Well, that's nothing new under the sun. I mean, even if they haven't like really been talking to you, they, they can be watching you, following you, stalking you. I see that all the time, by the way. My students, I see it in the comments section of the YouTube videos. It's a thing. I call it Divine Creepy Pants because... Divine Masculine is being a creepy stalker. They're being a creepy pants. Okay, Mr. Creepy Pants. Okay, Divine Creepy Pants. Being a creepy stalker, driving past your house, watching you on social media, you know, grandstanding, trying to post shit post on social media, how great their life is. They're watching you, stalking you, trying to figure out how they can get you to stay in their life, even when they keep you at an arm's length. Why do they do that? It's so weird. It's so, it's so counterintuitive. But that's what they're doing. The Hanged Man in reverse and the Six of Cups towards the so-called karmic. So this is Divine Masculine kissing their ass, trying to get them to stay because, I don't know, they want some money or they just want the security of the situation or whatever it is. I got to be honest with you. They're really just using this person or situation. You know, it doesn't have to be a person it usually is the so-called karmic right it's a boyfriend girlfriend spouse could be a job though it could be family it could be something like that they're just using them appealing to their sense of nostalgia <clears throat> they've got no intention of making it work they're just getting something out of it they've got you on the mind 
okay? And you guys have had some interesting experiences already. It's only Wednesday. This week is really turning out. Whether or not you actually spoke to them, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's energies going on behind the scenes. That's why they stalk you. That's why they're divine creepy pants. You're feeling things. They're doing things, right? It's like I explained at the beginning. I don't do anything about my twin flame. She just keeps showing up. I do something energetically and she just responds to it. It's like that. Towards you, this is recent past, towards you, Divine Feminine, the Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords in reverse. So, you are appealing to their primal instincts, kind of um, base instincts, sexual desires, uh, and you make them feel really good. They feel really, really good about it. You make them feel like a whole person or something. I mean, it's kind of like that. You make them feel like a whole person. You make them feel like they have more to give, more to share with the world. They could be sitting there all hot and bothered thinking about you, Divine Feminine, not saying a fucking word to you, but actually appreciating everything that you are. Why do they keep thinking about you? They're sitting there wondering, why do I keep thinking about this person? They don't reach out. They ghost you. They tell you that they don't um, want to be with you. It's like, um, like rejection. Like they could be rejecting you. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. And they know it just as well as you do. You see their actions. I'm not listening to your words. I see your actions. Okay, death in reverse. Again, this is divine masculine resisting those changes. And already this has moved up a bit, hasn't it? I think last time it was down here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. So death in reverse. Uh, that energy of resistance is kind of on the way out and you can tell because of the way that two of pentacles came out at the bottom of the deck like that I don't think they're going to be allowed to just do whatever they want to do you know they're not going to be given a choice that's what I, I just don't see that with divine masculine they're going to have to go through these changes why because you're changing divine feminine you're changing. They're just not consciously aware that there's anything higher or deeper going on. You are. They're just kind of rolling with it. And it's going to be painful if they don't get on board. <laughs> Towards the so-called karmic, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the magician. Well, well, well. Very interesting. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the magician hmm. not really interested in doing much there are we divine masculine thinks that they're just gonna use the same tired old lines and the same tired old baggage the same tired old excuses you know the usual bag grab of like fancy language what's that one song words of love Soft and tender won't win a girl's heart anymore. If you love her, then you must sh send her diamonds and rings and roses and rubies and pearls and all kinds of expensive things. That's why the Eight of Pentacles comes out in the reverse, right? You're not just going to sweet talk your way into staying out of the doghouse, Divine Masculine. It's not a happy situation at home. No matter how much they try to make amends, you know, they're staring down the barrel of, well, maybe not a gun, but like being homeless pretty soon if they don't shape up. You know what you really need to do, Divine Masculine? You need to get the hell out of there and stop resisting. Stop trying to juggle everything. Stop trying to be everybody's goddamn hero. You got to make a decision. Do you want the karmic or do you want Divine Feminine? Now, towards you in particular... They actually see you as a viable choice, <clears throat> and I think they're starting to see it as really kind of inescapable. Seven of Cups next to the Judgment card. Very interesting. Divine Masculine sees destiny with you, Divine Feminine, as inescapable. They know it. They're not, they're not ready to admit it. Don't expect them to admit it anytime soon. Okay, don't expect them to admit that. But they do. They feel like they have a lot of choices, but there's only one. There's only one. I could do this. I could do that. But Divine Feminine, me ending up in a situation with him or her again, 
It's inescapable. It's inescapable. Yeah, exactly. Stop your juggling. Stop your delaying. Stop making excuses, Divine Masculine. Well, let's see what the old Oracle deck has to say about this disaster that we call Divine Masculine. Divine Masculine disaster. Woot, 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 woot. Divine Masculine disaster. Happy Wednesday, guys. And as always, you know where to find me. You know where to find me, right? Why would you want to find me somewhere? Well, let me explain. In case you're new to this channel, I am a professional twin flame coach. I am a professional twin flame coach. I was able to attract my twin flame to me and we're always hanging out and talking. It's all good, guys. It's all good. No more running and chasing. No more obsessive thinking. Yes, she's my twin flame. Every time I have like a really deep spiritual experience, she's always showing up. Happens all the time. All the time. We're always hanging out. It's all good. So there is that. And then there's also the 2,000 students that I've coached. Holy shit. How about that? You can go read testimonials at my website. There's a link in the description box below to my website. If you would like to read testimonials from my students who are with their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs, absolutely, guys, this works. You can go watch my free content. If you're not sure about who I am, there's a reason I've been so successful, guys. It's because I'm different, and I talk about twin flames way differently. You should go take a look around my channel. You can also hit me up for some coaching at my website, and it's not expensive, guys. It's very, very affordable. You know, you can get started for like 50 or $60. It's so inexpensive. I have payment plans. Even if you pay in full, it's still only a few hundred bucks. I don't charge thousands, guys. Go have a look around my channel. Go check it out. Go look at my free videos. All of my videos where I talk about Twin Flames are all on a convenient playlist so that you don't have to go digging around. The name of the playlist is How to Get Your Twin Flame. Go check out those videos. You're gonna see why I've been so successful. You're gonna watch those videos and you're gonna be like, yeah, this guy talks different. Yeah, you're right, I do talk different. You and your twin flame are the same soul. You gotta do soul stuff. No healing, no karma, no fixing your childhood wounds, no getting your Akashic records read, no merging with your divine masculine through the 5D, none of that crap, none of that. You don't need to do any of that stuff. As a matter of fact, the less you do, the better. This is not a journey of doing. This is a journey of being. The deeper I go into my soul, that's when she shows up. That's how come she wants to talk to me all the time. It's like that, guys. It's like that. Let's do this Oracle card. What do we got today? Whoa! Did I just feel that? I'm going to check the rest of them. That didn't take very long. I'm just gonna make sure to check the rest of these cards. Yep, oh yeah, it's one of these. Is it that one? It's this one. It's this one right here. What do we got? Well, now that's interesting. Divine Masculine. He's got to get away. He or she got to get away. What's that one? That makes me, I don't know why, but that just makes me think of that Offspring song. Got to get away. How does that song go? Da -da 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 -da, ba -da 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 -da. Saying all I know is I got to get away from me. Gotta get away from my karmic. <laughs> Look at this, the three of pentacles in reverse. Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, duh, all right. So yeah, this shit isn't working. I'm not really happy with my life situation. Okay, why don't you stop juggling so much, dude? Make up your fucking mind if you're not happy about it. Look at this, I gotta kiss the karmic's ass because we're fighting all the time. Five of wands, two of cups. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine, I think they're partied out, but they're looking at you like a long-term goal now. That's 
Awesome! They're not really concerned about short-term experiences with you. They're not really concerned about that. They're looking long-term now. They're looking long-term. That's why temperance comes out. Three of Cups in reverse and temperance. So that's good. Why does, I mean, why, I don't think that has to be explained, but I will. We don't want short-term gratification. We want long-term, long-term, right? I want Divine Masculine to stay. So I certainly am happy to see this temperance card come out. You just got to make up your mind, buddy boy. Make up your mind, Divine Masculine. All right, that's it for this one, guys. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button so that you can get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. Huzzah! Happy Wednesday, guys. I'll be back for another amazing video tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!